Hi folks, this is David from over at Simply Maya, and somebody recently asked us how to rig a spring with hooks on the end. So you can see here in the classic fashion, here's one I prepared earlier. Now there are a couple of interesting uh, principles involved with this, because it's not as easy as you might think if you've never seen this before. So here I have on the other side a simple polygon helix, which you can get to just by create polygon helix, and two toruses with a section cut out. Now, if I go under the input node of this helix, you'll see I can adjust the height, but obviously the hooks don't come with it. Now, it's not as simple as just shift selecting these and going to mesh combine, because you'll notice the hook stays exactly where it is. So again, I can get the polyhelix input node and adjust its height and the hook's not moving. Now, if you're wondering if that's because they're not actually physically joined, it's not. Let's go into face mode here. And you'll see the faces just drag and get left behind, but I'll demonstrate anyway. For the skeptics among you, uh, I'm just going to bridge this and I should still be able to get to the poly input node. So let's come here and uh, poly helix, where have you got to? There you are. And I'll move this and you'll see the hook stays exactly where it is. So this causes us a little bit of an issue and there's a fairly simple way to fix it if you've seen it before. If you've never seen it before, um, I can understand why people run into issues. Right, so the first thing we need is to constrain this object to this one and I'm going to do this using a locator. There are other ways, but locators are kind of handy for this sort of thing. So I'm going to hotbox locator and that should give me a locator here. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to select a vertex on it, I am going to control select my locator in the outliner, you can do that in the viewport too, and I'm just going to go on the constraint menu and I'm going to go point on poly. You'll see our locator is now constrained to this point. So now all I need to do is parent this object to this locator, which you can do by simply middle mouse dragging it into the locator. You'll notice now when I go to my polyhelix and change the height, that object goes with it rather nicely. Okay, so that's the first problem dealt with. How do we move these objects in tandem? Now you need to come in and do that on this too. So let's create another locator. Let's get a create locator here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the vertex on this one and I'm going to control select the locator too. And I'm just going to constrain with point on poly again. And you should now see that we're halfway there. So let's come in on the channel box here and go to height. Okay. Uh, what we forgot to do because I'm having one of those days was just parent our hook to our locator and you'll see now that should work just fine. Okay, but well we're not quite done yet because obviously these are not joined together. So all we need to do to achieve this lovely joint is I'm going to bring this back down to two. That will be my compressed spring. I'm going to go into face mode F11. I'm going to delete this face and while I'm here, I'm also going to delete this one. Then I'm going to hit edge mode F10. And before I do that, actually, let's combine all of these. So I'm going to stress, uh, mesh combine. There we go. And now F10 for edge mode. And let's just bridge across this like we did originally. Uh, but if you'll remember, that bridge didn't work. This one will. Because we have it parented to our thing there. So there we go. You could maybe space that out a bit better, but for us it doesn't matter. It looks fine when it's smooth. Let's go to our polyhelix and we want to do a, let's say, height adjustment here. And you can see that we get a rather nice height adjustment. So move this back to where you want it at its maximum compression stage. Duplicate it. Select the non-duplicated one. So this would be our non-duplicated one. This would be our... Okay, there we go. Don't know why that didn't duplicate the first time around. Control D, by the way, if you're running. Uh, let's go here and change the height. So polyhelix height. Let's get it to our maximum extension range. Okay, so let's say we want it about there. 
Now all we need to do is delete the history of all these objects. So I'm going to uh, go to edit, delete by type, history, and edit, delete by type, history. Okay, I'm going to select the maximum extension and the minimum extension. And I'm going to go to uh, deform and create a blend shape. Now the little one should have just a blend shape on it. We'll go on the attribute editor, you'll see it here. And that should be a fully rig spring. Now I can just hide this one. Technically I can get rid of it altogether, but not important now. And there you go. That's how you rig a spring with hooks on the end. So locators can be useful um, in a various number of ways. Uh, you've got sort of a constraint that allows you to achieve this with no problems at all. If you've done it without the locators, I can assure you, you probably would have run into all sorts of problems. So anyway, that's how you do it. I hope that's answered your question. Uh, lots more stuff over at simplymaya.com if you want to go and support us over there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Ciao.